Hello everyone. So this is that time of the month again where Alberta has announced its new processing inventory levels and this was announced on 10th of October. So in this particular video, we will go through the details of how the latest processing numbers look for different streams of the Alberta PNP. Here is the number of the total number of allocations versus the nominations issued so far in 2024. They are saying they have issued around 8,397 nominations in 2024, which means that they have another space of 1,353 applications, which would be issued by the end of this year. So they have another room for 1,300 odd applications. And comparing that to the number of applications in queue, they have close to 4,000 applications or almost a little more than three times of the volume in their queue. So this is the overall processing numbers. Now, how? let's see how this compares to our last data that was uh, announced. In our last video, we saw that the total number of nominations issued was around 823. So they have kind of issued 300 odd nominations in the past few weeks and the number of applications have also dropped. So from 4,440 applications in queue, the applications has dropped to 4025 and this could be partly because of the fact that they are not accepting new applications in the past few weeks so that is the reason we are seeing a fall in the number of applications at an overall level concern let's look into the alberta opportunity stream they have issued close to 4643 nominations for this year and they have additional slot of 621 nominations remaining for 2024 comparing that to the last time they had close to 898 open slots and now which is down by 621 so around 250 new nominations are issued in this particular time period the number of applications for aos is currently at 1823 which is down another like close to 250 300 applications from the last time where they had around 200 and uh, 2100 applications spending as far as the processing time is concerned we we uh, have seen only a slight improvement in the processing time where they are currently processing applications from january and 23rd 2024 this has only slightly improved from the last processing time of january 11 2024 so as far as the applications for the aos is concerned they are kind of moving very very slowly however if you see the, the uh, if you see the additional information that is provided here AO, uh, alberta advanced aip is also prioritizing people whose work permit expire in 2025 so depending on when you have applied for aos if your work permit is expiring in 2025 those applications would be given a priority obviously it will not change the date but if you are somebody who whose work permit is expiring in 2025 you may expect a faster response than this now let's look at the rural renewal stream rural renewal stream they have issued 1586 nominations in 2024 which is a slight increase of around 70 to 72 new application uh, new nominations as compared to the last time they have 244 remaining slots which is again a slight decrease from the last time and the number of applications in queue also reflect the similar number from 1667 it is down to 1589 here the processing time also has improved by a couple of weeks from March 6, 2024 to March 22nd, 2024. But again, here also the temporary public policy of prioritizing the applications whose work permit are expiring in 2025 is applicable. So if you have somebody who has applied to RRS after March 20, uh, 22nd, you can also expect a response a bit earlier or on priority. Next comes the tourism and hospitality stream. As far as the tourism and hospitality stream are concerned, there has been no new application. So there was only particular like couple of ways in which tourism and hospitality applications were accepted. And what we have seen, this numbers hasn't changed between the last update and this update. So they still have around 201 nominations slots remaining for tourism and hospitality stream. 
and there is no application in the queue so when the new expression of interest system starts doing draws we can expect some uh, letter of invitations to be sent to the tourism and hospitality stream applicants so if you have created your expression of interest under tourism and hospitality stream watch out for a possible chance of getting an invitation under this particular stream so this particular stream hasn't changed from our last video dedicated healthcare pathway dedicated healthcare pathway again it has 70 it has issued 73 nominations in 2024 which is a slight increase of around uh, 12 nominations from the last discussion and the number of applications they still have 12 applications to be processed and 37 new nominations to be issued those, those they still have some room for dedicated healthcare pathway and again once the nominations once the uh, round of issuing invitation for the new expression of interest system is is uh, starting in october here also they are expressing they are currently processing applications from 27 september 2024 which is a slight improvement from the last uh, last update so september 27 is almost current they are almost up to date they only have around 12 applications to be processed so mostly the decisions would be taken for these 12 applications and once the decision is taken you can expect some invitations to be issued in the new expression of interest system too so keep a watch on that too now let's look into the various sub streams and the details of the alberta express entry stream so here you would see accelerated tech pathway is currently processing applications from 18th of march 2024 which has not changed from the last declaration they were still app, um, doing assessment of applications from 18th of march there is a slight improvement in the number of applications to be processed it has went down a bit but the fact that they have only four slots remaining for the tech pathway in this particular year so we will not expect a much invitations or much movement in the accelerated tech pathway they have almost used all the allocations for accelerated tech pathway for this particular year under the dedicated healthcare pathway of the express entry stream uh, around 37 uh, applications are pending but they have quite a number of uh, spaces remaining they still have 228 allocations remaining which is also a slight uh, change from last time last time they had 242 so they have issued like around 13 or 14 new uh, nominations in this particular period and they are currently processing from september 20 uh, september 27th 2024 so this is again some a pathway which is very current and as i was saying once the new invitation starts rolling out in october i am expecting some more invitations to be issued under the dedicated healthcare pathway law enforcement they have around 11 spaces remaining and they are similar to the last time so there is no change in the law enforcement pathway and that is mostly because there have been no new applications in the past few weeks uh, priority sector and draws they have only one slot remaining which is again similar to uh, similar to the last update family connection and occupation and demand this is something very interesting so we see that there is no slot remaining for family connection and occupation and demand there have been some applications which are pending but there are no remaining allocations so some people were asking me if how the family connection draw will happen in the new expression of interest system if you can see here there is no uh, no allocations remaining for this particular substream of express entry so i'm not expecting any of the invitations to be issued based on your family connection because there is no room available so i know it could be a bad news for a few people or discouraging for but you have a lot of other streams which you can still target so let's look into this this particular data of the support letters which alberta will issue to support uh, people whose work permit are expiring in in 2025 so here we, we have seen that there are 660 such applications in the queue and 171 support letters have been issued as far as AOS is concerned. However, they have not issued any such report letter yet for rural renewal stream. But if you see the last update for the rural renewal stream, you would see that the public policy is applicable for the rural renewal stream also. So expect that in the remaining two and a half months of 2024 there would be some support letters which are issued for the rural renewal stream also there are like only 325 applications in the queue and we can expect some support letters that would be issued by alberta pnp to help candidates renew their work permit whose work permit are expanding in 2025 okay so 
that is the update that they have expression of interest draws have not yet started once they start they will update this particular table and we will keep analyzing the scores and the trends of that particular draw as and when it happens this is what i wanted to cover in this particular video i hope you guys get some value out of this and if you have any questions reach out to me and i will see you in the next one thank you so much